Welcome back to the show. They say luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. For 27-year-old Wisconsin Herd coaching associate Sidney Dobner, a road less traveled led to being in the right spot at the right time and the opportunity of a lifetime. Kelly Price has that story. Living. While the Bucks were interviewing Becky Hammond for the head coaching job in Milwaukee last summer, its G League affiliate was busy bringing in another woman for a coaching position of its own. Play call, oh, caught him off, caught him off. It's about finding the best person. Becky Hammond It was one of the best candidates we could have interviewed to be a head coach. And Sydney fit the profile that she's the best candidate for the position. That's why we hired her. Name drop Becky Hammond in an interview with me, I felt pretty good at that point. <laughs> Sydney Dobner became the first female to work in coaching and personnel for the Bucks organization as a coaching associate this summer. Got one coming, JB. Dobner started playing basketball at just six years old. She played college ball at four different schools, then went on to play professionally in the Netherlands. She started coaching D3 basketball and even boys basketball for third to eighth graders. Then all of a sudden, she was working with seven footers at a pre-draft workout in Thousand Oaks, California, with the likes of Donovan Mitchell, Grayson Allen, and Devontae Graham. That's when the Bucks took notice of Dobner. She did a really good job, and then the next summer we saw her work again, and we were, we were convinced that she has what it takes to work in the next level. And I remember walking into the gym just going a million miles per hour, and I see like Pat Riley and I see Magic Johnson, Chris Paul's watching, like one of my favorite players. And I remember thinking like, my pass to this guy could end his chances, like his career. And it was a lot of pressure going on, but I was like, this is thrilling. Shot Ike, like I love this. JB. Afterwards, when the Bucks contingent asked if she was considering a career in the NBA. Are, are you serious? Like, yes. And next thing I knew, I was flying to Milwaukee. Slight hitch in those plants. Less than a week before her trip, Dobner had seven ulcers removed in her stomach. I was thinking, don't throw up on the court. Giannis is right over there. That would not look good. And yeah, so really I was just focused on, you know, being a professional out there. Like I wanted to make sure my voice was heard and I didn't want to just stand in the background. And that, I mean, I already thought she was up here. That took her to up here. Like she didn't even say a word about how she was feeling. Also definitely not stopping Dobner is the fact that she's a woman. She says coaching has nothing to do with gender because she speaks basketball. Mike, is that your free throw bouncing all over the place? Nah, nah. Better not be. In Oshkosh, Dobner clips film for halftime review on game days and works with players on the court during practice and warm-ups. She's learning about player development, the front office, coaching, video, and now the media. And when Dobner thinks of just the five other women who work full-time as coaches in the NBA and G League. I had never even thought about that. Like, it's pretty crazy to think that there's only a couple handful and most of them played in the WNBA and you know them like growing up like I know Sue Bird's working in the front office and like I grew up with a poster of her and it's like I'm now part of that group that's just it just throws me for a loop a little bit. Sydney Dobner breaking glass ceilings en route to her dream an inspiring story for sure.